hello guys welcome back once again to my youtube channel this is gifty here again if this is the first time seeing my face my name is gifty i mostly share content about anything in helping you in relocating to canada and life in canada in general guys today you see the smile on my face guess what guess what guess what hmm i got a scholarship congratulations international student i got a scholarship for my tuition fee guys it's amazing do you know one thing <laughs> i always tell myself it hasn't been easy it hasn't been easy i will tell you how everything started the reason why i got a scholarship how much i had when it is lasting and how you can also get your scholarship when you land here so if this is something that you are interested in guys stay tuned and don't go anywhere so the thing is um you see i always tell you that fleming college has an automatic scholarship which is usually based on your academics right yeah so it depends from the gpa that you have then they will know the amount that they will give you for your scholarship so the gpa for your scholarship will be like from i think 3.5 no is it 3.8 to 4 apples okay then they will give you a maximum amount of like payment of your tuition fee part of your tuition fee so um it's automatic scholarship you don't need to apply they will just look at your gpa and you'll be selected then that is it so i was there one afternoon and i received a message hi gifty you have considered for so so and so so and so scholarship and we need these details and these details to approve and a whole lot of guys i was like oh Okay, so I always tell myself it hasn't been easy. It hasn't been easy with studies at all. If I tell you how international studies are, I when I was coming, I felt like international studies would be like something very flexible and something cheap. But guys, I am telling you, international studies is so, so, so much voluminous like a whole lot of assignments in in one week you can have like five assignments maybe your program you have like five i'm sorry seven courses to be like five of them are giving you assignments with maybe deadlines maybe one day deadline sometimes three day deadlines and it's not like just assignment like what is your name or what is blah 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 it's research you have to research you have to go online you have to research and a whole lot of things one aspect about international education is that everything is like it's using the system like computer software whatever you won't there is no situation whereby you will use pen and paper in writing everything is on the pc everything is on the monitor guys it's not easy it is not easy at all so if you are coming as an international student and you don't know more of it microsoft and a whole lot of typing skills and these things guys forget it you will struggle you are gonna struggle so you have to know your typing skills should be well you have to know something about microsoft word whatever whatever everything about it you have to be well versed with that because the system is not pen and paper and their teaching skills will be like sometimes they give you slides to go through sometimes some of the programs are asynchronous meaning that they won't come to class some of the courses are online some of them are synchronous in person you go to class then they will teach you and some of them there is no class but you have it on your schedule you have to read you have to do tests you have to do assignments and it's part of your grading so that is how international education it hasn't been easy another thing about international education is that 
they don't really base on end of semester to grade you. Your assignments are the major part of your grading. Your class attendance, your participation in discuss, discussions, your like making sure that you submit your test and all these things. That is where the gradings come. Okay, then the assignments will just take some 40% of it. Sorry, the exams will just take like 40% of it. So if you are able to meet up with your marks with the um, assignments and the tests and the discussion and participation and all these things, you get your marks. So in the exams, you don't need to struggle at all. So that is how um, like international education is like. So if you fail in your assignments, your tests and all these things, that is where you are going to fail because the, the, the end of semester exam doesn't take much of a mark. So that is one thing you have to note. So you have to make sure that you meet all your assignment deadline. If there is something that is wrong with you that you cannot meet the deadline, you contact the faculty member and they will extend it for you. So with my path, with my story, sometimes, you know, I'm doing YouTube. I also work in three places. And if I show you how my schedule, my timetable schedule is, guys, this is it. You can't believe it. Every sport, I have class. So the little time I have in it, those are the times that I will use it for maybe work. And sometimes I have to go for night shift as well. Just like I'm talking right now, I'm just at night shift and I'm using my break to record this video. It hasn't been easy. You won't get a chance for anything. So me doing YouTube, me studying, me working for like three places, me being a wife is not easy and doing YouTube as well. <laughs> so it's, it's not something that has been easy at all. Sometimes it will be like I'll have two hours of sleep. It will be like and and one thing is i also have a whatsapp group i have to be attending to questions i have to make sure that people who chat me i respond to them it's, it's it hasn't been easy sometimes some of my friends will be like you see how do you even manage your time it's not easy sometimes i feel very very down you won't even have any time to socialize you don't have time to talk to your friends like it's, it's too much. It's too much here. But, you know, I was able to study hard. I was able to make sure that I do my assignments. I was able to make sure that I hit on the slides to make sure I understand things. And I also mentioned this to you. One thing about um, international education is that if you don't understand any part of your program, you can seek something we call tutoring. I don't know if it's only in my school, but I'm not sure. You can just go for like a tutoring. They will take their time to teach you to understand very well. And the faculty is also responsive. If you ask them questions, they answer and they will put you through. They have mental support. They have counseling. They have a whole lot of things to support students so if you want to seek for that path how to manage your time and other stuff they will give it to you something good about international education so in all this i tried my possible best and guys i achieved the gpa of 4.0 and i was considered for that automatic scholarship though it is not um whole like everything about my tuition fee but it has taken part of my tuition fee and whilst you are a student you can also seek something we call bursaries it's like some funds they will give you to just support yourself and guys you are good to go so this is the good news that i brought to you so if you have any if you have any intention of traveling to Canada for studies, what I will tell you is that look into your program, check the school. Do they have the scholarship? What do they have so that you prepare yourself towards 
those scholarships and it will really really help some of the scholarship you have to apply before you reach here some of them too you have to be here and your academics will automatically put you into so this specific one that i'm talking about is based on my academics and i got it so if you are in fleming college this is it you have to be sure you meet up with the gpa and you get your scholarship and if you are planning of coming, this is also a good news for you. Try as much as possible that when you come, and I forgot to mention this, I will tell you everything is about determination, okay? Sometimes some people will sit back home and will be like, if I come to Canada, how can I pay my school fees? If I come to Canada, how am I going to work? How am I going to study? Like, you think more yes it's good it's it's actually good to think about those things but you think more about the negative so much you have to have that aspect of how to also make things good for yourself okay so everything here is about determination always try to motivate yourself always try to calm yourself down when you are kind of depressed talk to yourself this is why you've chosen this is why you want so you are going to achieve it sometimes it leads to tears sometimes you feel like have you made the right choice but guys you won't see the benefits now when you come to canada as international student you won't see the benefit now because you'll be working and be using that money to pay your tuition fee and you can work and pay your tuition fee because when you reach here, the tuition fee is not like come and pay everything for us. You can divide it in sections. Maybe whatever you get, pay. Make sure that before your next registration, like the semester end and they want to register you for a different semester, you've actually paid the tuition fee. So you can work during your breaks to get more hours. I remember I worked during my break, like that two weeks break and i was able to get like part of my tuition fee and whilst i'm working i'm paying the rest and luckily enough um i've also got this scholarship which has really 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 helped me and i thank god for this so do not let the negatives affect you so so much try to build a positive aspect of it like can do spirit have it in yourself be determined in whatever that you are doing and guys you're gonna achieve it add prayers in everything add prayers i'll actually bring like a topic about like life in canada like for international students because so many people are worried about how to pay your school fees. Can you work and pay your school fees? I'll actually bring how you can do one or two things to help um, those things. Those things, yeah. So look up to that. So today we are happy. If you're happy for me, guys, say yeah. Like this video for me and leave a comment. Congratulate me and let's keep this family growing. I love you all. Take care. Bye.